Hey beautiful people, it's Courtney. Today I'm back with a Target versus Walmart versus Wish slime reveal. But before we hop into it, I have a charity giveaway going on for the month of July and the winner is going to receive a $100 gift card to my slime shop. So all you have to do is we are raising grains of rice and food for those who are starving and hungry using free rice and the World Food Project. So all you have to do is join our group on there. It's totally free and you answer question every question gets 10 free grain grains of rice and you guys we have already raised almost a million grains of rice in the first couple days of July it's absolutely amazing I am so proud of each and every one of you I've been playing this myself and it's just a great way to give back and it is totally and completely free you could read more about it on the website but you do have to join our group so I could see how many grains you earn because the person with the most grains is going to get the giveaway so I'll leave all the details down below in the description box you could follow it on there. But without further ado, let's hop into these Target slimes and get started. So this first slime here that I got is called Slimy Orb Slimy Elasti Plasti. And I have never tried one like this. I have tried some from this brand, but they are very, very different. And this was like a really large slime. So that's always fun. So this one I decided... I'm kind of torn. This one actually isn't very bad at all. It's just not very good for ASMR. It's very, very stretchy and a really unique material. But as you can see, like I can't poke it or if I try to like get bubble pops out of it, it doesn't work very well. But if you stretch it really slow, it gets so stretchy. And it also showed on like the packaging, like you could stretch it like really far and it had pictures of it. So that was definitely accurate. I always like to kind of compare the packaging and see if it does what it it says and they had someone stretching it just like this and it stretched a ton I was trying to make some bubbles so the bubble pops aren't the best but I don't know it's just a really unique texture and definitely not a bad slime at all just very unique I would say so this one gets a thumbs up from me I think for this series I'm gonna do like a thumbs up or a thumbs down so I'm gonna say this one is a thumbs up and that was me trying to make like a bubble and it kind of failed anywho let's get on to the rest of the slimes The next slime I picked up was from Guava Toys and it was the Breakfast Bonanza Slime Pack. So it came with a maple syrup slime and a blueberry slime. And after taking them out, um, they did deflate a little bit. Like, I'm not sure if it just wasn't filled all the way to start with, but as you can see, they definitely weren't filled. And when I put them back in the container at the end, it was almost like they shrunk a little bit. I don't know. Anyways, I really liked the maple syrup one. They were both scented and that one was scented really nicely. The blueberry one was kind of overpowering and almost smelled like this is going to sound gross, but like blueberry throw up or something like that. It had a really like overpowering, overwhelming scent to it. Um, but I really, really enjoyed the maple one. Now they were a little bit stretchy, but it was that kind of texture like a lot of store-bought slimes have where the more you stretch it, kind of the less stretchy it becomes if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, I decided to play with them separately. They weren't bad slimes at all, like nothing too crazy, like not super impressed, but for store-bought slimes, definitely not bad. You guys know, like I'm a huge fan of the Nickelodeon ones, so they aren't on par with that, but I wanted to mix them together just to kind of see what it would become. And so these were like very holdable, very putty-like, um, but yeah, overall, not bad. I think I'll, I would give like the maple one a thumbs up and the blueberry a thumbs down. Uh, so yeah, I definitely like the maple. Next, I have some Wish slimes. Good old Wish. I have a love-hate relationship with them. So this first slime, I actually thought I ordered like all of the larger sizes, but I guess not. Usually the larger sizes I found are typically a little better. And I feel like Wish is becoming like plastic baggy slime. Like lately they put all of their slimes in little plastic bags. So 
I don't know. It never ends up filling the container the entire way either. But this one was really pretty. It was just like a duo. I feel like they could have left it like this and it wouldn't really have mixed just because they always are so thick. This was definitely like putty like. It was very pretty. It had a ton of glitters in it. It had some stars in it. And you guys saw the little unicorn charm it came with. So this one, um, as I played with it, again, it became even more stiff and harder to stretch. So I would give this one, um, like on, on appearance, I would give it a thumbs up. But on the overall slime, I would have to do a thumbs down. Next, I have this Floam slime I got. And for reference, this bigger size is 120 milliliters. The smaller sizes are usually 60. So a lot of them have two options. So if you're on there shopping, that is the difference in size between this one and the previous one. Um, so this Floam, I was actually really, really impressed with. As you could see, it came with a little charm. Um, it did have some fallout, but it honestly, like the texture of it was really good. Like it was very stretchy. It didn't rip. It actually felt almost like a home made slime and I had this in like my last video where it actually smelled like pretty pleasant I'm not sure if they're scenting these on purpose or just using ingredients that smell nice but this one was scented really nicely um, and not too overpowering just very light and kind of fruity fragrant it was really nice um, and the texture was also really great I, you could do as you could see I did slime swirls and everything like it had a really really nice texture for a wish slime so I would hands down give this a thumbs up it was really nice And then the last slime I have from Wish was this beautiful fishbowl slime. As you guys could see, it's like very glittery. It has some like slushy beads in it. I guess this wasn't fishbowl. It's like a slushy slime. Excuse my slime categories. Anyways, this one had like red and purple glitter and it was beautiful when it hit the light. Um, the texture was very similar to the first one from Wish and as I started to stretch it, as you could probably expect, the little slushy beads came out absolutely everywhere. The more I squeezed it and played with it and stretched it, just more and more and more came out. So you could just hear that as I'm playing with it. Um, but I thought the color on this one was really pretty, but overall I would have to give it a thumbs down just because the texture wasn't good. Last but not least, I have some Walmart slimes. And if you guys have, I feel like I've reviewed so many slimes from Walmart. So if you guys know of any that I haven't, definitely send me like a link to it or a photo of it. I would definitely love to try to find it and pick it up. But um, this is a giant Compound Kings um, slime. I believe I had a similar one to this, but a completely different color. And when I bought it, it came opened. So I made sure they like Walmart needs to do some like quality control on their slimes because when I went like, Almost half of them were open. Maybe the parent should do quality control. I'm not sure. Um, but I made sure this one was sealed and it came with a huge amount of slime and they're very, very affordable. Um, this one isn't, it's great for poking. It's not that great for like bubble pops and clickiness, but it's really like, it's pretty stretchy as long as you stretch it slowly. So I was really impressed with this. This one is gonna get a thumbs up from me. Very pretty. As with the other one I got, that was kind of like a clear slime with um, like purple and pink glitters. The red glitters did stick to my hands and it was so hard to get them off. Um, so I don't know why that happens with this one, but overall I think it has a really nice texture and a great price for the amount of slime you get. Now you guys, just like I was talking about, I could have sworn this slime was completely sealed, but as you could see, it was opened when I got it. So it looked like someone opened it, maybe took some slime out of it because it was only about half filled, but this was a ketchup slime. I did try one of these slimes previously. I'm not, I can't remember off the top of my head which one it was, but it definitely wasn't ketchup. And I think this one was like pretty accurate. I think it looked kind of like ketchup. It was very strange. This one was unscented, but it did have a really, really weird texture to it. Almost like that elasty one at the beginning, but not quite as good. So I would give this like in between a thumbs up and a thumbs down. Like it wasn't the worst, but it also wasn't the best. It was just kind of strange overall. But yeah, let me know which um, store you thought won 
one in the comments down below. And also don't forget to check out my giveaway. I'll link all the details down below and I will talk to you guys very soon. I hope you have an amazing weekend and I'll see you next time. Bye.